Welcome to Post Game. Stuart Scott, Mike Wilbon, John Barry, Hall of Famer, five-time champion, Irvin Magic Johnson. The Miami Heat came into this game, guys, undefeated at home in the postseason. But the Mavericks had won five straight on the road, which means something had to give and break. We'll see what it was. Let's take a look. Here we go. Mavericks up one at the break. Third quarter, early third. Mavericks building the lead. Marion in transition finds Deshaun Stevenson all by himself. Buries the three. Mavericks up 51 to 43. Later third, I'd, I wouldn't leave LeBron open like that. Drifting, drifting. Wilbon, he had all the time in the world. He did. He had a while, Stewart. Heat down 53 51. Closing seconds of the third. Check out LeBron James. Take another look at this. Really? Uh, that turned the game. That turned it. Later, fourth heat up five. D Wade crossover. Get some of that. Late in the game, LeBron James. JB, you said LeBron. About two minutes before this happened, you said it's about to be LeBron time. Well, I think it was more Dwayne Wade, but this guy obviously capable at any time. Heat up 10, clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. Wade, the alley, LeBron freaks the oop. For all intents and purposes, ball game. LeBron James, 24 points. D. Wade had 22 as the Miami Heat take game one of the NBA Finals, 92 to 84. The Heat now. 9-0 at home this postseason. The Mavericks' five-game road winning streak stopped in the postseason. Look at how this all went down. Dirk and company. LeBron and company. Bron Bron getting his team ready. If you're not exhausted after each and every one of these games, you ain't playing hard enough. If you're not exhausted tonight after playing this game, you didn't play hard enough, man. Early fourth quarter, but when they're playing like this, you figure there's no way that he can lose, right, JB? Well, well when it's 88-73 with 7:13 to play, Magic said, "Start the plane." That's right. That yeah. shot right there was a good night, gentlemen. Let's go home. We're up 2-0. See you in Dallas. Except the Dallas Mavericks didn't want to cooperate. Dirk, jumper. Maybe you might want to guard him. I'm just saying. And then Dirk. Remember, they were down 15, right? Dirk with the layup to tie the game with 57 seconds left. With what hand? Haslam is grabbing him to locate him, <laughs> but he still gets caught in a great screen by Tyson Chandler. Bang! They are up three, but Mario Chalmers, remember he did it in college. Mario from the corner. Oh yeah! That ties the game at 93. So Dallas Mavericks, 24 seconds left, about the time of the shot clock. Who do you go to, JB? Ryan Cardo. No! It's Dirk Nowitzki. What a shocker. And what does he what score with? Will what be. a move. The, the, left, the left hand. The left the tennis hand. hand. Dirk Nowitzki, 24 points and 10 of 22 shooting. One last chance for the Heat. D-Way's three is off the mark. And the Miami Heat, a team that was up 88 to 73. The Mavericks down and they come back and they win it. This is American Airlines Center in Dallas. We're in American Airlines Arena in Miami. These are the fans in Dallas who packed the arena just to watch the game and talk about being ecstatic off the charts. The Dallas Mavericks take game. Guys, game three when the series is tied 1-1, always critical in a 2-3-2 format. Let's take a look at how it all went down. LeBron with a pregame message for the Miami Heat. Sounded a lot like the pregame message like he had before game two. Right here. You know, when we feel desperate. I think that we know we are our best when we are a desperate team. Yes, sir. And that's what it's about tonight. Playing desperate from the first from the first tip, man. Mavs down five in recess. Third quarter, heat up 11. D Wade with the steal. Well, mind when they're running like this, can anybody defend? No. And then Dirk ready to shoot, Jack. And then Dirk working on Dwayne Wade. Magic, how can you defend that? You can't. He just looked at Dwayne Wade and said, oh, you too little. I'm just <laughs> away from the mouse in the house. Yes. <laughs> Mavs on a 17-3 run. They're up 59-58. We go to the fourth quarter. We're tied at 84, but just over two minutes to play. Whose hands you put the ball in, Wilbon? Dwayne Wade, period. And, well, they didn't double him there, but the, most of those possessions in the last seven minutes, they doubled Dwayne Wade, but he made him pay for it with a couple of passes. Heat up well. two, Dirk Nowitzki. It, it just gets routine. That ties it at 86. Under a minute to play. LeBron kicks it to Chris Bosh. Biggest shot of his life, Magic. Oh, no question about it. And you're at home. You're from Dallas, and they needed that. 
and he broke the tie right there. Next seed possession. Shot clock winding down. Mavs played great defense on this, didn't they? Yeah. Absolutely. You run off LeBron James in the three. Timeout there. I thought they might go on the break. They had Jason Terry out, but timeout set up this play here where Udonis has him. Just tremendous defense on Dirk Nowitzki. Doesn't get it, and the Heat take the two-one. He got a look, didn't get the basket. Heat win game three, 88 to 86. Dirk scored the Mavericks' final 12 points of the game, but he missed that potential game-tying shot at the buzzer. Meanwhile, the big three of LeBron, D-Wade, Chris Bosh, they combined for 64 of the team's 88 points. Guys, again, the Dallas Mavericks are down in the fourth quarter. And again, they make a rally, and again, they tie a series. Dirk Nowitzki playing with the fever, and you knew he was feeling sick. JB, what's it like when you're playing with the fever? I don't know, but I love to feel like him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if he's sick or not. LeBron struggled. Four points in one of five shooting in the first half, but later in the third, D-Wade with the stale LeBron. That puts the heat up one. Later third, with Dirk on the bench, LeBron with the alley, D-Wade freaking the oop. Wilbon, you Ooh. saw this play coming. You can see it. I mean, this is one of the time, few times, though, they hooked up tonight, but they made it count, and Dallas had to regroup. Just over five minutes to play. Jason Terry with the lay-in. Mavs take the lead up one. JB, you said outside shot wasn't working. Well, again, you let him go isolation. You got to come take the ball out of his hands. Will be, isn't that what we always talk about? Dirk Nowitzki should not be the guy taking that shot. He cut it to 84, 83, nine seconds left after two free throws by Jason Terry. Make it a three-point Mavs lead. 6.7 seconds left on the inbounds. Wade loses the ball. Gets it to Mike Miller. Air balls a three-pointer. Ball game. Mavs win the game. 86-83. to 83. The NBA Finals tied at two games apiece. It is now a best-of-three series. Dallas enters the fourth, trailing by four, but outscores Miami 21-14 to 14 in the fourth to knock the series. It's Dallas' sixth win this postseason when trailing, entering the fourth quarter. And LeBron James was the focus going into this game because of a head-scratching game last time in Game 4, especially the fourth quarter. LeBron James may have had the quietest triple-double in the history of important big-time playoff basketball. Let's take a look at how it all went down. LeBron coming off that career playoff low, eight points in Game 4. King James on Game 5, he said, this is a big game, probably the biggest of my life. Well, well, not probably, it is. The Heat facing a healthy Dirk for game five. Dirk had a fever game four. Mavs up early. Late first quarter, scary sight for Miami. D-Wade collides with Brian Cardinal. Watch it again. Dwayne favoring his left hip. Goes to the locker room. He would stay there for a while. Mavs up five. They led by as many as nine in the third. With 4.33 in the third, Wade comes back. Backs down Jason Kidd. Jay. We know you're going to the Hall of Fame, but, like, you just can't cover that kid no more. Heat down five after three. Fourth quarter, they turn it over. They could not seem to close them out, JB. It was difficult to get the ball to Dirk. Credit the Miami Heat defense. And here again, when they get a turnover, it usually turns into a layup. The assist goes, gives LeBron that triple-double. Next Heat possession. D-Wade finds Haslam. Another look, Magic. That's one of those Magic Johnson pass. What a beautiful pass, but also a great cut by Haslam after uh, they knew they were going to double-team Wade. Heat take a one-point lead, and then get at me, son. D-Wade, south side, Chicago, stand up. The pull-up three. That put the Heat up four. But the Mavs come right back, as they always seem to do in the fourth quarter. Dirk finds Jason Terry. Jet, holler, Dirk. He's about to tell Chris Bosh, peace out. Under 40 seconds left, Mavs up four, shot clock winding down. How big was Jason Terry, Magic? Oh, uh, he was very big. And not only with his three-point shooting, and, and he was driving, penetrating, and kicking to the open man, too, as well. Jason Terry. Pull up. Done and done. He's out of the hangar. On Jet, the runway. 21 points as the Miami Heat lose consecutive playoff games for the first time this postseason. Final score, Mavericks 112, Heat 93. Dallas leads the series 3-2. The Mavericks close on a 15-3 run to win this game. Dirk Nowitzki is just, I mean, we, <laughs> really 29 points, a perfect 10 for 10 from the free throw line. And they become just the fifth team over the last 15 seasons 
to shoot over 60% from beyond the arc in a finals game. The fourth quarter has been the story all series for the superstars, and it was the same story in game five. Big, big, big for Dirk, not so much for LeBron. Dirk goes to the line in the fourth quarter to get himself some points. He outscored LeBron 8-2 in the final frame. LeBron didn't score in the fourth quarter until less than 30 seconds left, and the margin already too big at that point. There were 12 NBA franchises that had not won an NBA championship. There are now 11. The Dallas Mavericks, your 2011 NBA champ, Stuart Scott, Mike Wilbon, John Barry, and a guy who's done it five times, Irvin Magic Johnson. Guys, the Heat were at home. They had a chance? Did they have a chance? Oh, yeah. More than a chance. And then they at got home. hit by the Dallas Mavericks <laughs> all upside the head. Let's take a look at how it went down. Game six from here in Miami. LeBron, D-Wade trying to force the game. Some scuffle breaks out. Stevenson and Mario Chalmers pushing and shoving. Everybody's on the court. What happens here, Magic? Well, it's an intense game, and uh, Haslam and Stevenson got into it first. And then Chalmers came in to save his teammate. And it's just like a lot of pushing and shoving. That's all it was, Stuart. Let's take a look, though, at where the yep. stars are. Dirk not involved. Wade not involved. LeBron trying to break it up. Technical fouls issued to Chalmers, Haslam, and Stevenson. In attendance, NBA Executive Vice President of Basketball Operations, Stu Jackson. He's going to review the scuffle. Guys can't come off the bench, Wilbon, but as you pointed out, well, during a timeout, if they were already on the floor, and that's the big question, why they were reviewing it, then they would not be suspended. But the NBA was talking about reviewing it. Maybe they still will, but there seems to be a moot point now. Jason Terry picking up the slack in transition. JT was fierce, and Dirk finally stopped at seven feet. You can shoot threes like that. Eight of 15 in the second half. Just over six minutes to play. Dirk Nowitzki, clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. Whew, it's fun to watch. Under three to play. Did we mention he was one of 12 shooting in the first half? Nasty. That's just filthy. Yes, yeah, that's why he was the MVP of this series. Mariano Rivera. <laughs> Ten points it out in the fourth quarter. Mavs up 12, but just over 30 seconds to play. Warbon, who else? Why not the icing? Let it finish. Dirk going left. Seems like the way we started the playoffs, wasn't it? <laughs> Dirk was Buck. Buck is when internal artistry meets physical expression. Ball game. The Dallas Mavericks win the NBA championship. Mark Cuban and the Dallas bench loving it. Right after the game ended, Dirk emotional. He went to the locker room very quickly. Wade, LeBron, and the Heat, they walk off in defeat. Final score, 105-95. NBA commissioner David Stern giving the NBA championship trophy to the Dallas Mavericks. Owner Mark Cuban, the most outspoken owner in sports, was very quiet after the game. He told me, he said, it's not about any of that. It's just about this team winning a championship. Mavericks win their first title in franchise history. Despite shooting just 9 of 27 from the field, Dirk still 21 points, including those 10 in the fourth quarter. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.